Hello friends, so today we talk about histogram and dot plot. Uh, so let's uh, return to the x, y dimensions of component. Uh, so what are the lowest values and highest values? Do the low values occur more frequently than high values? And in what ranges do the most of the dimension fall in? In other words, what does the distribution of the dimension look like? These questions are about numeric data. Earlier in this chapter, we talked we talk, talk about how we can use bar charts to display categorical data. Now we'll look at a similar chart that is specially designed to display numeric data, the histogram. The horizontal axis of a, histo a, hist uh, of a histogram represents the scale of the data, which, uh, which is divided into intervals of equal size. These intervals are called beans. Each bar represents the frequency of data values that occur in each interval. For example, this bar is 18 units high because there are there are 18 samples that offset between minus 5 and 5. A, hist a histogram displays a wealth information, including many things we might not notice looking at the raw data. Look at the shape. Is this unimodal or B model? The graph may be symmetric or skewed. Let's look more closely at symmetry and skewness. A histogram can be used to assess the data for symmetry. If one side of the histogram is close to a mirror image of the other, then the data are fairly symmetric. This graph shows that the data are fairly symmetric. If the data are not symmetric, they may be skewed to the left or skewed to the right. Sometimes there are data points that do not fall near any other data points in the data set. These extremely high or low values are called outliers. It's possible to draw a histogram with any sample size. However, with small sample sizes, histograms appear sparse and are not usually the best graphs to use. When we have at least 25 or 30 numbers to display, the histogram provides a useful picture of how the data are distributed. So let's review. Histograms show frequency distribution for numeric data. Histograms are useful for displaying moderate to large amounts of, the, of numeric data. They show the shape of the data distribution. Suppose, suppose we want to study the, uh, the dimension of a component. We select 15 samples then measure each one because this sample is too small to create a useful histogram. So is there any other graph we can use to display the data unlike the histogram which aggregates data into few y bars? The dot plus uses narrow bins and displays a dot for each data value in the bin. With large, 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 larger data sets, each dot plot can represent more than one data value. The dot plot is especially useful for displaying small to moderate amounts of numeric data. The dot plot lets, uh, lets us look at individual data values with more precision. For example, with the small data sets typically used for dot plots, 
we might not get a sense of the overall shape of the distribution, but we can see where the data are clustered more or less densely. densely. A dot plot shows the range of data values and can help identify any unusual values of outliers. Let's review. So dot plots are an effective way to display a small number of numeric data points. Thank you for listening. In the next lesson, we talk about the individual value plots.